Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, take a zip file and extract the files from the zip or whatever, right? And then um, I'll show you guys how to use them to some degree. Anyway, uh, we're going to be using a script called uh, JS Unzip or JavaScript Unzip, and this little script here lets you um, unzip or yeah, extract pretty much just extract zip files and stuff and get their contents and so on. So here I have the whole readme file open and according to the license this has been um, available to people since uh, about 2006 I think or that's what the date is on the license. So uh, this has been out for about four or five years. What year is it? So five years, 2011. And uh, it's pretty handy, but you don't actually see a lot of people using this. And there isn't actually much about it, so I thought I'd make a video on it. So uh, I'm just going to go to the script here. I'm going to create a new file. Call it um, JS Unzip Example dot HTML. Now, if you're going to be using this, you need to have a server. So I'm going to copy these over to my server documents and I'm going to put it in a folder called JavaScript um, unzip example. I'm just going to paste all this junk here and the readme.zip file is just from, um, you know, it's the readme file for the whole script. Anyway, just go to open this up in my editor and I'm going to open it up in Chrome. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is you need to um, insert the script by using an include or whatever um, file dot complete dot js okay so um, you can get most of what I'm going to be showing you guys from just reading the readme file here so I'm gonna go through this and um, whatever right so first of all, you just need to um, use this uh, whole var zip file. I'm not sure what this um, variable is for, so I'm just gonna read this um, main class and the zip file, whatever. Just read the zip file called new class and you. Okay. Well, I have no idea what this variable is for. So, yeah, I'm guessing you don't need it, but I'm going to include it in anyway. You probably won't be using it anyway. So, um, create a new script tag. Say variable zip file. And just replace in whatever, right? So, um, I'm going to be extracting the readme.zip file. Right? And then we'll leave this as it is for now. So uh, this part here just explains um, the variable here for uh, verbosity or whatever it's called. Right? Entries, entry name, status, whatever, bin file, whatever. Um, yep. Yeah. So the next part here is the done reading function. Now um, this is a callback function. So when the file is extracted, the or whatever or read, the done reading, um, sorry, not extracted, but when the file is done being loaded or whatever, the done reading um, fu callback function is called. Right. And I'm just gonna copy this little bit here. Or actually know the next one so 
So this example here is to extract the files. So I'm just going to copy all of this over. And then I'm going to change this into a format that I prefer. So when the zip file is finished being loaded and whatever, it calls the function done reading and sends the zip or sends the file in the zip file in a variable called zip and then it loops through the entries. Uh, there's a little issue here with efficiency. I'm just going to put it in in case you have like massive files or whatever. Right, that only speeds it up a little bit. You don't have to do that. So then you loop through all of the entries that are, or all of the files in, in the zip file. And here is a description of what's inside of the entries. And for now, I'm just, I'm guessing, or I'm just going to use the name. Right. So anyway, uh, you got the entry dot extract function, right? And then it has another callback to um, extract CB, which stands for extract callback. I'm just gonna rid get rid of these comments. And then here is where you do all of the junk that you want to do um, for handling the files that you extract. So I'm going to put a, um, a div in here and call it id um, content or whatever, right? And on the callback, we're going to say documents dot get elements by id content. I'm going to call this var c div equals. I'm going to just um, create a, another variable called. Um, div HTML. Now the reason for the variable is uh, actually screw it you don't need the variable we're not using that much data anyway so uh, just go cdiv dot inner HTML equals whatever right so let's um, put the entry name or the file name in bold right and according to this it should be dot name right and get last modified and compressed size and compressed size as well right and then uh, put on a new line or whatever and then let's just put in the um, contents gonna open up this for a second to make sure it's um yeah so because it has the you know the HTML characters or whatever um yeah I'm gonna use a div or whatever divider And uh, going to go entry dots um, or sorry entry content. Now uh, there's something you should be aware of with entry content. It can be either returned in an array or a string, and it uh, should automatically choose um, 
should automatically choose what uh, to put it in, right? And this here is just some error checking. Here you have a text reader, binary reader, functions. Uh -huh. Okay, so we won't be using the readers for now, right? So um, dot replace. Whoops. Um. Then greater than a div. Oops. Right, so I'm just going to open this up now or refresh it. Let's see what errors happen or show up. About to change this, just use uh, one for now, I guess. There we go. Whoops. Inspect element. So here you can see all of the um, all of the content and so on shows up perfectly right so uh what you what can you use this for you can use this for all sorts of things you can um use it for compressing images and transferring them over and extracting or whatever you can um compress even your script files right if you have a large javascript file <coughs> and uh you can compress it a lot right if you have html files that's even better right if you have a whole bunch of HTML files, you can compress them so much because text is extremely easy to compress, right? I'll just um, show you an example of uh, how uh, useful it can be for loading your bandwidth. Here is some XML data, 717 kilobytes. I'm going to add this to a zip archive. Right, call it xmldata.zip and it went from 717 kilobytes to 91 kilobytes plus the, um, the zip file javascript which is 67 kilobytes so that's a massive difference right so as you can see it can um, really reduce your bandwidth for loading pages and so on um, if you really wanted to, I guess you could do this with PHP files, but I don't recommend it for non-cached um, data and stuff like that. Uh, right, so let's go back to... Forgot one little thing. Should show the file name and I forgot to check that, so... There we go. There we go. So js unzip dot um, readme dot text, and that was the file that was inside of the zip. And um, you can even do this with multiple files as well. Anyway, uh, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog. It's hotnoob.com and you can get this script just by um, googling um, js unzip. I think. Anyway, uh, right. See you guys later.